Yeah. How you doing, man? Right. Good, you. Good, How great. are you? Great. It's been a while. I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in me. What's going on, guys? We're back at it again today. We're doing some offshore fishing again. I know you guys love my offshore content, so we're getting started. I'm going out fishing with Mike over here and Captain Ed. And we are going fishing, hopefully for pelagics, targeting whatever's out there, whatever's going to eat. And I think we're going to do some kite fishing. So we're going out the Hillsboro Inlet, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. Guys, you don't even need to go to Ravi's down on Isla Mirada. You can actually like feed, hand feed tarpon and jacks right here in, in Hillsboro Inlet. Pretty awesome. Oh, we got a fish. Should we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get it on the, the bottom rod, huh? Yeah. All right. Nice. Go. All right, I'm catching something, putting a fish in this boat today. <laughs> but we are kite fishing, we got flat lines out, we've got baits down in the middle of the water column. And like we did just the other day, you know, we're just covering the water column, trying to get fish. I just put a live filter down on the bottom, bottom fishing, trying for that mutton. I just got a nice fish hitting my bait. And we're in about 130 feet of water. We have moved, we're starting to float. We have moved up to the Boca Raton area of fishing and uh, we could to find some current. So let's see, let's see if I can get this fish to the boat. It's coming up though, he's digging. Oh yeah, he's digging. It's not like a mutton or snapper, but we'll find out here. Ooh, digging again. Coming up. Got color, I got my weight. Somebody grab that weight. You got a mutton. Damn, lady. Nice job! There we go. Woo. Close. Look like he's gonna be 18, close. Huh? I think he's 18 though. Measure on the measuring on top of that cooler. The cooler, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's about 18. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Where's zero? Where's zero? Squeeze that tail. Looks like it's 18.1. It's close. What do you think? Pretty close. Uh, yeah, he looks like That's he's on zero. right on 18. He's over 18. He's over 18. He's 18, 18 and a half. 18.3. Keep her mutton in the boat. Pretty happy right now. I got to get another bait down. I was like, I told you, here, 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 all this. Like, yep. All right, we're going Smaller. Smaller. A little mutton. All right, got another fish on. I think it's a little snapper or something. Something small. That's okay. Catching fish. I don't know. Oh my god. Close. Might that hard at all. Might be short. Short. Looks close. 17. 16 or. Watch them pelters. So down here, the rules for mutton snappers have changed, but yearly you need to check your regulations because they change for all different species. Uh, year to year and this year starting January 1st I believe the mutton size illegal mutton was originally 16 inches total length uh, last year now this year it's 18 inches so that fish was barely 16 inches which it needed to be 18 to keep here uh, so yeah so you need to make sure you know your leg regulations don't keep short fish I've been at many marinas and boat ramps and seen people fillet fish at the fillet table that are not legal so that's not cool don't do that check and I felt it pounce like boom fish on all right we got the sun going down on us this is our last drift um, we are I'm still bottom fishing over here trying to get one more fish in the boat but it's just, it just sucks with the fishing today we got that kite line out we got flats out like I said we're not getting any bites on anything but the bottom fishing is working so um, I just got my line out again trying to get another fish before the end of the night let's see what happens here I'm gonna try to get a fish in uh, have uh, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> All right. Starting to float, I think. Now it's really cool. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's floating. That's fun. All right, we got color. Here. We got color. Here we go. Oh. Close. Close. Oh. 
Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. It looks like a 19. Woohoo! 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 There we go. Check him out. Mustad circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Doing his job. Also, just a quick side note, I get this question quite a bit, I never explain it. You see this thing in his mouth right here? That's from fish when they get blown up, their fish bladder, it gets blown up from them being down deep. And because I brought him up from over 130 feet of water, this fish is completely blown up his air bladder um, because the pressure is, is different up here. So that's what that is. I gotta get dropped down and get another fish right now. Hold on. Hold on. I left your phone. You're going to go right in the water, Brian. Thank you. I'm all that I see a little vibration on that rod, too. I'm letting it out. Tell me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. language on my camera, girl. <laughs> Peter Miller wouldn't do that. Yeah, there he is. Oh, there he is. Sweet. Got the touch. Rick or something. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. This braid is awesome. All right. So guys, I just want to tell you what setup I'm using. Catching these fish on the bottom. I have 50 pound braid. Woo! He's digging. Woo! I have 50 pound braid here on my reel. The reel I'm using is a Maxell Ocean Max 08, and I actually really like this reel. It's got a nice lever over here for the drag, and it's got a really loud clicker. Clickers are important. And I'm also using my new rod, which is the Ocean Max Gold. And um, I think it's made by Tsunami is the one that, Tsunami Tackle is the one that sells it. But they're making nice stuff. Here's that photo real nice. Alright. Sorry about that. Alright, color? Yeah. Oh! I knew it wasn't. Darn. Alright. It, I could feel something messing with my bait, so not a mud. What is that? A queen triggerfish. I think. Queen triggerfish. Awesome. Okay. Wrapping up the day, we're back at the dock. But we had a nice afternoon trip. It was a very quick trip. We got out there. Got on some fish. I got on some fish, caught a couple of muttons, but uh, the bite was just slow today once again. You know, that happens with offshore fishing around here. And uh, we did the best we can. We went to a couple spots. We had all those lines out and not one of them got hit. That was crazy, but thank God I dropped the line on the bottom and saved the day with some keeper mutton snappers. But I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Captain Ed for taking me out and inviting me out here down here in Hillsborough Inlet. I don't really fish this area too often, so it was nice to get out. Thank you again. And awesome to have Mike with us on the boat. Mike is awesome. And yes, he is drinking my land shark, so he is doing, <laughs> I'm drinking my land shark. He's drinking land shark uh, and doing his job over here. So we had a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs> nice. <laughs>